All right, YouTube, welcome back to another video. Sorry, uh, no fancy introduction. We'll just get straight into it. Um, I just got done doing another uh, run for Time Spy. Um, after we did some uh, cooling upgrades. Um, and uh, right here, we scored 38,637. Uh, we got 29,814 on the CPU and 40,766 on the GPU. Ranked uh, 63 in the Time Spy uh, Hall of Fame. I'm going to go right to that right here. All right. Scroll down. Right there. That's me. 38,637. All right. We can kind of go over the... Uh, Go over the run and then we're going to go over the build and my mindset on this uh on this build here so we come down here uh, this isn't my highest boost frequency on the gpu 3165 was the max i could get to um i've gotten down to 32c uh i don't know if swapping to one single loop has affected the gpu temperature here uh but um 38c here and we are only able to boost to 3165, and I've I have gone to 3180, but it didn't click this time. But then again, this is my highest uh, GPU score. This is without the Galax uh, BIOS flash. If I were to flash the Galax BIOS and run this, I'd probably be be in the top 25 in the world, uh, and we'll probably be over 42,000 on GPU. But for now, I didn't flash it. So this is what we got. This is what you can get out of the card um, with the the original BIOS. All right, 38C is our temp. All right, come down to uh, what everyone really cares about, the processor. So 13900KS, uh, 6 gigahertz, stable, all core with E-cores enabled, and our average temperature is 64 and that's awesome. There's no fancy external rads or any sort of crazy cooling. We have our the air, we had the air conditioning running in the house. No crazy ducting or like um, stuff that people build to get as, the coldest air possible in there. Um, yeah, so we have uh, 16 fans on here. Uh, 16 fans and three rads really helps out a lot. All right, and. Uh, Windows 10, uh, 21 H2. I'll bring this up right now. So, a lot of people have been getting some pretty low scores. And some of it's, you know, overclocking inexperience. But some of it's also running the latest and greatest update. If you actually go to this and you type in updates, I don't know if they do it on Windows 11, but on Windows 10. Oops, my... I don't know why I went to Disney movies here. Uh, one sec here. Updates. Okay. See, it's an actual optional update. That's how much it sucks. It's an optional update. You do not want to be running 22H2. Running 22H2 will significantly affect your scores. If you're wondering, wow, dude, I'm... My, my, my stuff's overclocked and my all my clocks are getting everything and I'm getting my scores really low. Try flat, going back to 21H2. You might have to reinstall Windows. Um, I'll let you do the research on that. I don't I don't know. This one is a fresh Windows install with 21H2 and I never updated it. So and I got some driver updates I got to do. Do those later. Um, but yeah that's definitely affecting people's scores next up is the ram and the ram speed and sub timings um the uh i still have a little bit more uh sub timings to uh, tighten up a little bit so we can get our score up the goal is thirty thousand. We, we came a little shy here but we, we will we'll, we'll hit 30k um but you know just had to you know take uh take the score and go with it man so eight thousand uh, megahertz on the RAM, CL36 on there, nothing fancy. Um, 
two DIMM configuration, 32 gigs of RAM. And I think that's, I think that's about it, yeah. Yep, we already went over everything else. Cool, all right. Um, so going over the actual build. So this is my first official water cooling build here. And I had a different mindset. Um, and I didn't really see anybody kind of doing this. So um, theoretically, three liters per minute is the amount you want to at least maintain. Um, as far as who decided or who calculated anything beyond that was a diminishing return. I'm not sure, but three liters was like the max. We, we pump a little bit more than three liters, but at least it's greater than three liters and we have at least enough. It's better to have more than not enough here. So um, basically how this whole system works here. So we got our 350 milliliter um, thermal take uh, distro plate. Okay, so pump right here, uh, maxed out. So it pumps the fluid out of here, goes right through the CPU, comes up to our first radiator. Now, these fans are oriented where they're sucking air in. That's for over overclocking and benchmarking. We will swap these back over. So these will be um, intake or uh, exhaust fans, and we'll put the glass back on. And simple as that. All I do is to swap them over. So the uh, anybody says, oh, with all the dust, not worried about the dust because uh, we'll be swapping them over. Anyway, so uh, it comes out of this radiator and then goes through our GPU, okay? Comes in through here, goes through all the channel and the ports, comes out through here, and it comes through and hits another pump. This pump is kind of a, a booster pump, you want to call it. And then you got your flow, flow meter right here. Tell you how much flow you got. Right now it says 3.7. 3.7 uh, milliliters uh, per minute, or sorry, excuse me, liters per minute. After that, it's gonna hit the next um, radiator back there, and that's also got six fans on it. Three fans are in the back, um, push-pull configuration. Comes up, comes out of that radiator, and then goes into this, this radiator right here, and loops up, comes out right here, and then comes up, and then goes right back in. Uh, this configuration, one loop setup, makes for amazing temps in games. Um, I actually posted a video of me playing two games at once, both maxed out on my other monitor. I have a 5100, or sorry, 5120 by 1440p uh, G9 monitor. I cut that in half, ran um, Warframe, max all settings, and then I ran Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, max settings as much the highest settings you could possibly put on both of them at the same time. I think the highest temp was like 52C. Uh, and that was in my, um, my my gaming room that doesn't have any ventilate, it doesn't have any ventilation or windows. So it gets kind of toasty in there. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, it's it's so beast. Uh, it's, it's overkill. We got our screen here. Um, uh, I need to um, redo the ADA um, screen. I'm, build, I'm gonna be building one. But it's kind of not priority right now. Um, but yep. So um, that's pretty much the build. Um, not a whole lot to it, but it works really well. Um, oh, a couple of things. Uh, the RAM. I did get the. I forget what that company is, but the Bisky or something. They have some really nice um, RAM heat sinks. Uh, they make the RAM. Uh, feel really expensive and very heavy um, actually significantly heavier than the stock <laughs> uh, covers for the RAM so we put those on and we drop 10c um, pretty much a 10c difference um, so yeah they work really well um, let's see anything else yeah, that's about it for this build uh, thermal tape p6 uh, before I conclude this, if you guys need any builds done, um, you can let me know. Uh, I'm in SoCal, and uh, we'll go ahead and get your build taken care of. You don't need to go uh, over the top extreme like this build. Uh, this one, over 8,000 in parts alone, you don't need to spend that. We can get you something a lot cheaper, um, and uh, you'll be good to go. 
uh, plenty of customer testimony to back up my work um, and the the scores and and all my other builds it all backs it up man so yep my work speaks for itself yeah well I think that's about it um, well thanks for watching guys we will see you in the next one take care